Okay, so finally, Pixel Experience official version based on Android 12 is out for the Redmi Note 8 users. If you're a user of Redmi Note 8 or using Redmi Note 8T, Pixel Experience official version based on Android 12 is out finally. And the thing is, it's kind of a stock device, or you can say stock feeling if you use this on your device. It does not have any kind of features, does not have any kind of customizations. It's the first initial build based on Android 12 for the Redmi Note 8 users. So yes, we might expect Pixel Experience Plus edition very soon. But this is not a plus edition, this is a normal edition. We have the Google Assistant available for you if you want to give it a try, you can. And also if you want to use the new Google Assistant, a new generation assistant, you can get all those Pixel features by installing a module. And the module, I made a video on that one, so make sure to check out this. By the way, it's based on the latest official security patch. It has the latest security patch based on 5th of December 2021. The thing is, it's looking smooth. It was not expecting. It, it's a long time, by the way, when I reviewed Pixel Experience based on Android 12. And now it's officially available for the Redmi Note 8 users. Moving on to the animations, you can see animations are smooth, but these are not Android 12 L animations. So yes, Android 12 L has better animations and that's improved. It's not there as of course it's not based on Android 12 L. If you check out the quick settings panel, you can see the dark background, black background everywhere and does not have the Wi-Fi and mobile data separate tiles available for you. And as I previously mentioned, if you need all those features and customizations, you can simply root your device from Magisk and install the modules and you're good to go. If you want a guide on that, videos already available on our channel. So make sure to check out those if you want to take a look at all those things, all those customizations, all those modes. Now moving on to some other things, for example, the default. If you use this default thing, if you install this build for the first time, you will see less apps. And as expectedly, it has the Pixel Launcher pre-installed. If you're able to notice, this Pixel Launcher has Android 12 switches and some customers, I'm not sure, in some customers I saw the Pixel Launcher had old kind of buttons and these kind of switches. I'm not sure the why or maybe something changed here, but yes, it's good. It's good, I think so, because we're using Android 12, so we need that smoothness. Everything else is looking good. First impressions are quite good. Let me use it for a day or two and then I'll see, then I'll see, I, then I'll share my response with you that how the room is going on. By the way, until that time, there are a lot of customers who will definitely come for this device. So yes, we'll look, in, look into that too. The default camera section. Unfortunately, no MIUI camera, no ANX camera. Yes, even no Google Camera Go edition. But yes, this is Android 12. So ANX camera was not expected the normal camera which is snap cam is included which is kind of no use but you can use gcam modes a lot of gcam modes available for you moving on to the safety and status at sector safety status is actually good the safety status is passing for you i tried that you can see the redmi note 8 safety status compatibility test is passed and i haven't rooted my device by the way a lot of users always use custom homes on their devices without rooting. So yes, if you are also one of the users who don't use, who don't root your device after installing a custom room, you'll see the safety status will be passed for you. And why, if it is required or not, if you want to use banking apps, you definitely need safety status to be passed. So yes, it's good. As expectedly features, no features there, but yes, the game assistant or you can say game dashboard, it's there, it's included and in some custom homes it was compromised, it was not available. By the way, it's the normal Android or Google game dashboard, it's not a modified one like which you get in Dove Festival if I'm not wrong. In that custom home that was good, Nisantara OS also has a new gaming dashboard but that's not present. In battery section, you cannot wipe the battery stats unfortunately yet. This is kind of a stock pixel feel for you but it's a good choice if you are a user who don't use customizations much but need good stability pixel experience almost in all devices have good stability for you so it's a very good choice everything else the same if you want to give it a try you can i think so this is enough from this video moving on to some other extra things for example no face unlock unfortunately yet but yes while making this video no android 12 custom home has face unlock yet so let's see when the face lock will come or app lock etc gestures etc kind of same no major things nothing to talk about you also get the system update which means ota updater i'm not sure if it is working or not but yes if it is working it's kind of really impressive everything else i've already shown you these were things i just want to let you know if you want to install this link in the description
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 